My name is Anne Legrand from Self Avenir, a patient organization in France. Today, we'll be talking about the mechanics of MS analogy, created to assist people living with MS, HCPs, and caregivers to have better conversations about disease progression. For this reason, we wanted to create an analogy that could be universally understood. The analogy asks people with MS to imagine that their body is a car or which they are the driver. As they drive the car, they experience wear and tear, which represents MS disease progression. This process is invisible and happens underneath the car's bonnet. An oil leak may not affect the car's ability to drive because all the parts of the engine are still able to function. This is a bit like neurological reserve where the brain temporarily rewires itself in order to compensate for certain disruptions that occur as a result of MS. Eventually, the leak gets bad enough to have a bigger impact, stopping the car from running as smoothly as it used to. The wiring in the car may have short circuited, which can cause issues with some of the car's functions, just like myelin damage can disrupt signals to the brain. The car radio may stop working or the headlights may not shine as brightly as they used to, making driving harder and less enjoyable. Conditions out of their control can lead to one of their tires getting a puncture. At first, they may not notice the problem, or it only marginally affects their ability to drive. Eventually, it can develop into a bigger issue which brings the car to a complete stop with a serious impact on day-to-day -day life. MS can affect mobility in a similar way and can prevent someone moving without the use of a mobility aid. Driving alone can be disheartening, and running into problems on the road can be difficult to cope with without adequate support. Not everyone has access to a mechanic at all times, just as not everyone has regular consultations with a neurologist. And the support of friends or family in times of need also differs from driver to driver. It is the actions of everyone, in particular the driver, that keeps the car running smoothly. When the driver notices the car is not functioning as well as it used to, or when it requires scheduled maintenance, they may be able to take it to a mechanic or consult their car's manual and attempt to address the problem themselves. This is similar to when a person with MS goes to see an HCP or use their own self-management techniques. If they are able to speak to a mechanic, they may not be able to provide an immediate solution for every issue, but it can be helpful in terms of reducing the severity and impact of certain issues.